Hi, Kirsty O'Callaghan here from unity-qld.com.au and today I'm going to be talking to you about tea tree oil. As I spoke to you in the last video, this year for me is all about sharing those wonderful remedies that are affordable and effective and that you might be able to get at the supermarket or your local shopping centre and that you can be using to promote the well-being of you and your family. So today's about tea tree oil and I've been using tea tree oil for well over a decade with my children and I actually just put a couple of capfuls of something like this that you may be able to get at the supermarket in their bath whenever they have a bath. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing. You can be using it as aromatherapy um, for colds and viruses, bacteria infections. Um, you can use it in a humidifier. And, but I like using it in the bath because it, do, it seems to do all things. It's great for skin irritations. Um, it's absolutely amazing for acne. You just dilute it and dab it onto the skin. Uh, oily skin, blisters, sunburns, uh, warts, insect bites, rashes, and um, good for dandruff and head lice as well. I find that it actually prevents a lot of the head lice um, breakouts as well as helps treat it if you mix a bit of it with the conditioner, comb it through their hair. Also um, minor wounds and infections, so when your kids are running around they get scratches on them, fantastic to help the healing of that. So you can also use it as a cleaning product. So it helps deodorize, it helps to get rid of any smells, germs, um, wipe it over kids' furniture, uh, in the car and that type of thing, mold and mustiness gets rid of. And it's actually been proven that by using 5% um, of tea tree oil with shampoo uh, treats dandruff and head lice. So it's a fantastic thing. And when you can also use it to repel insects as well. A lot of good insect repellents has tea tree oil in it. And it's wonderfully Australian. And it's actually found in a type of Melaleuca tree in New South Wales. And Captain Cook was the first one to notice the properties of this because the Aboriginals have been using it for hundreds of years. And he actually watched them bathe in magical healing lagoons um, where the leaves, uh, the tea tree oil leaves, had dropped into the lagoon and um, watched the Aborigines doing that. So it, it is amazing, even for chicken pox, measles, uh, colds and flus. The thing is though, do watch out that if you're pregnant um, or breastfeeding, uh, don't use it, especially undiluted. Also, um, dilute it all the time because it can cause a bit of itchiness and it should never be taken internally. So it's a fabulous mouthwash um, for bad breath, yeast infections, things like that. However, make sure that you dilute it or put a tiny bit in your toothpaste and it can help with all that bacteria that builds up around the mouth. Uh, so yeah, I absolutely swear by it, wouldn't not use it. And just putting a bit in the bath for the kids, a bit in the bath for you is a fantastic thing. As well as, you know, putting a tiny bit in shampoos and conditioners and whatnot. In soaps is very good as well. So y you or your husband or your kids might get little cuts on you if you work outside. Um, fantastic to help heal all those up when you come home. It helps boost the immune system as well um, after illness, stress. Uh, all that type of thing. So, fabulous thing, tea tree oil. Go and check it out. There's more that I've written about it in the details, and so you can check out different ways to use it there as well, and 20 top ways that it can be of benefit and use to you in your day-to-day -day life. So, instead of all those really expensive remedies to those things, give that a go and see how it goes for you and your family. I look forward to your feedback and talk to you more soon.